So let's set the question. The question says that in the given figure of meter bridge experiment, the balancing length AC corresponding to null deflection of the galvanometer is 40 cm. The balancing length if the radius of the wire AB is doubled will be dash centimeter. So we will solve this question. First of all, we will see what will be the key concept used to solve this question. The key concept that will be used to solve this question will be the condition for no deflection in galvanometer is condition for no deflection in galvanometer galvanometer is R1 by R2 is equal to RAC by RBC where RAC is the resistance of bridge wire of length AC this is RAC and RBC is the resistance of bridge wire of length BC now RAC if we assume initial cross sectional area or radius of the this wire AB is R so cross sectional area will be pi R square this is initial radius R1 and this is initial area of this wire pi R square so RAC will be equal to rho into length of AC by pi R square and RBC will be equal to rho into length of BC by pi R square rho L by A is the resistance. Now if the radius of the wire is double so if we take R2 is equal to 2R so A2 will be equal to pi into 2R square that will be equal to 4 pi r square so r dash ac will be equal to rho into lac by 4 pi r square and r dash bc will be equal to rho into l of bc by 4 pi r square so initial ratio of r ac by r bc RAC by RBC that is equal to LAC by LBC because rho by pi r square will get cancelled. Similarly, final ratio of R dash AC by R dash BC will be equal to LAC by LBC because rho by 4 pi r square will get cancelled. So, this is equal to r1 by r2 will be equal to r dash ac by r dash bc or r ac by r bc. So, even if the radius of wire is ab is double, then the balancing length will not change and it will be same which is 40 centimeter. So, the correct option, so the correct answer will be 40 centimeter. Hope you all understood it well. Best of luck.